The Addiction of Gambling Everything anyone has, every good thing, from food to shelter and clothing, from happiness to loving relationships, all is the gift of a loving Creator. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Time is a gift from Yahweh. Time to learn more of Him, time to minister to others, time to work, and time to play. Each gift heaven generously bestows to the children of earth was purchased at an inestimable cost. The death of Yahweh's only begotten Son makes possible every gift given to man. Because life's blessings were purchased at such a cost, heaven's precious gifts are the responsibility of all. Satan has studied the human mind for thousands of years. He knows the weaknesses of each individual, and he has temptations custom-designed to allure each mind. A person who is not tempted to smoke or drink may be led into sin through movies or pornography. One who rejects the temptation to escape through novels or movies may fall prey to the spirit of war that reigns through competitive sports. Every person will gain an individual victory through faith in the Savior or will fall through temptations designed to entangle his weaknesses of mind, character, and personality. Gambling is one area Satan has successfully used to entrap souls. It allures many with the promise of gaining something for nothing and sparks the competitive spirit. Many have become utterly ensnared in the devil's snares by indulging in so-called harmless games of chance. Often viewed as harmless entertainment, card games can develop a taste for gambling that leads to more serious abuse. A poker game among friends can open the floodgates of temptation. Satan can lead some into impurity, tempting them to play strip poker. Even if no money is exchanged, a taste for gambling is encouraged, while others develop an addiction to the adrenaline rush of gambling that bears a harvest not seen by those who deem it a harmless pastime. Betting, whether on horse racing, cockfighting, dog racing, dog fighting, sports, even political elections, is also gambling. Lotteries, are another type of gambling that entices multitudes to spend money on the chance they might get rich quick. Money better spent is frittered away on a dream that more often than not never becomes a reality. Bingo also feeds the fantasy that luck can bring a person wealth without hard labor. The seduction of gambling is found in the possibility a person may, through a roll of the dice, a flip of the cards, a win at the track, become rich in a moment. Hard work, integrity, steadfastness are not needed when wealth is won by chance. When a person believes he can gain quick wealth by gambling, a run of bad luck generally does not bring him to his senses as he deceives himself into believing, my luck is about to change. One more roll of the dice, 
one more game of cards, one more race, will win him everything he has lost and more. Gambling has brought millions of families to poverty with much suffering, the result of this most seductive of temptations. Among people of high moral values, the social and moral dangers associated with gambling have been long recognized. In 18th century England, gambling clubs were called gambling hells. Whereas some Muslim countries outlaw gambling, most countries regulate it as gambling unregulated brings with it societal problems most countries would rather not deal with. Cities that have casinos have rates of crime, prostitution, and poverty far outpacing cities without sanctioned gambling. Atlantic City and Las Vegas have long had close ties to organized crime. Dwayne Carpenter, a professor at Boston College, states both Roman Catholic and Jewish customs now set aside days for gambling. For Jews, gambling is deeply entrenched in the traditional observances of Hanukkah and even young children spinning the dreidel. This was not always the case, however, nor does it make it right in the eyes of heaven. Originally, people who were professional gamblers were disqualified by rabbinic law from being accepted as legitimate witnesses in a Jewish court of law. They were categorized by the rabbis as being unfit for testimony since they did nothing to promote the benefit of society. Roman Catholics today accept gambling, but this is contrary to their early tradition. Augustine of Hippo, an early Catholic bishop, venerated as a saint, wrote, the devil invented gambling. Gambling wastes the resources heaven has entrusted to man. To throw money away on games of chance is something a true believer will not do. Christians are called to be stewards of heaven's bounty. That which Yahweh has bestowed must be used wisely as a blessing to those in need and to spread the truth of the everlasting gospel. Gambling is a waste of both money and time. Such non-productive use of these gifts is poor stewardship. An old English proverb summarizes the attitude of many Christians to gambling in its varied forms. A fool and his money is soon parted. There can be no lasting success, monetarily or spiritually, without dedication and commitment. Gambling provokes a belief riches can be had in an instant and creates a love of money that will open the door to many other temptations. Solomon gave a scathing rebuke to those who believed quick riches could be found despite indolent habits. Go to the ant, thou sluggard, consider her ways and be wise, which having no guide, overseer, or ruler, provideth her meat in the summer and gathereth her food in the harvest. Solomon, the wealthiest ruler of his time, knew well the allurement of easy money. He warned, He who loves silver will not be satisfied with silver, nor he who loves abundance with increase. This also is vanity. When goods increase, they increase who eat them. So what profit have the owners except to see them with their eyes? Work itself is a gift from Yahweh. The satisfaction that comes from a job well done is a blessing. The sleep of a laboring man is sweet, whereas he eats little or much. But the abundance of the rich will not permit him to sleep. 
those who are faithful in doing the duties of life reap a rich spiritual reward. Here is what I have seen. It is good and fitting for one to eat and drink and to enjoy the good of all his labor in which he toils under the sun all the days of his life, which Yahweh gives him, for it is his heritage. As for every man to whom Yahweh has given riches and wealth and given him power to eat of it, to receive his heritage and rejoice in his labor, this is the gift of El. For he will not dwell on duly on the days of his life, because Yahweh keeps him busy with the joy of his heart. The strength of character developed through faithfulness in honest labor brings rich spiritual rewards. A person willing to work diligently rather than seek wealth through gambling is more likely to find strength of character and determination and to find the truth in obeying the divine law. Gambling in any form creates an appetite for easy wealth, laziness, and a love for money then used by Satan to draw the mind away from eternal realities. Paul admonished believers to be content with heaven's gifts. Godliness with contentment is great gain, for we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. And having food and raiment, let us be therewith content. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts which drown men in destruction and perdition. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which, while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Yahushua explained, There can be no room in the heart for Yahweh when a person clings to a love of wealth. In his Sermon on the Mount, Yahushua said, No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will be loyal to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve Eloah and Mammon. Mammon refers to wealth that is an evil influence or has become an idolatrous object of devotion. Those who become addicted to gambling find it consumes their thoughts. They are driven to continue gambling, to recoup their financial losses. Yahushua is the answer to every sin. His arms are still outstretched his voice of mercy still calls, Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. If you will surrender your will to the Savior, he will give you the victory over every snare of Satan. The more helpless you know yourself to be, the stronger you may be in the strength of the Mighty One. Banish every thought, every habit that does not promote your eternal welfare. Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself will not stand. If you have cherished a love for money and games of chance, surrender it to Yahweh. He will give you the victory, and you can join in praising His name throughout eternity. In all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. 
The salvation of the righteous is from Yahweh. He is their strength in the time of trouble, and Yahweh shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in Him.